Hi, welcome back to Neural Splendor. The diesel particulate filter restriction sensor checks two different values on the newer engines. So the same sensor measures the restriction across the diesel particulate filter and it also measures back pressure or it measures if the SCR brick or downstream system is causing a restriction and a pressure buildup. And even though the sensor only has two ports, it's able to measure two different pressures. So let's take a look at how to figure out when a sensor is having a problem. We were logging faults on a diesel particulate filter back pressure, which would be the pressure building between the SCR element and the outlet of the diesel particulate filter, but we didn't have any problems with the actual measurement across the diesel particulate filter. We kept logging these faults randomly, but every time we did a road test or checked it, the sensor read perfectly fine in both value ranges. Let's take a look and see. There's a lot going on in this picture, so follow along with me. First, we're gonna to go to the top right, where we're looking at time since first fault, and notice we've got 1609 up there, but the faults below that are 306 hours all the way down. We don't care about the all the faults that are 306 hours. They were addressed and whoever addressed them never uh, deleted the old faults. We're concerned about the 43135s because that was turning on the amber check engine light for the driver. Now I've inserted a screenshot on the bottom of this and notice your after treatment diesel particulate filter differential pressure is zero, which it should be. But on the bottom, the diesel particulate filter outlet pressure is 0.86. It should be zero because the engine wasn't running at this point. So right here, I can see where the outlet filter pressure part of the sensor has failed and is sending a signal that's not accurate. Now I watched these values in the data logger and while we were driving down the road, those numbers were looking good. I didn't figure out what was wrong until I checked them statically with the engine not running and noticed that one was displaying pressure and the other wasn't. Thanks for joining me on Neural Splendor. See you next time.